Hello everyone, we are back at another Jurassic World Evolution 2 park build. And last week, I was thinking about the dinosaurs, obviously. Not only the dinosaurs, the prehistoric species in general. And I was thinking, we have a lot of Jurassic and Cretaceous era dinosaurs. Okay, that's obvious. But we don't have enough Triassic species in the game. We only have five of them. The Herrerasaurus, the Silophysis, the Shonisaurus, the Ichthyosaurus, and the Nothosaurus. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we only have five of them. And only three are in the base game. That is the Silophysis, the Ichthyo, and the Herrera. The other two, the Notho and the Shoni, are part of the prehistoric marine species DLC we got, what, last month, I think. So we have way too little, and there are a lot of interesting Triassic era dinosaurs that could be included in the game. Don't ask me to list them, I don't have any in mind. No, I have one, the Platycarpus, Platycarpus. I think that's the only one that comes to my mind. But we have a lot of interesting Triassic era species that could be included in the game. And Frontier really should give a, a little bit of love to the Triassic dinosaurs. With that being said, what does anything of this have to do with this park build? Well, this is not Jurassic Park, but actually Triassic Park. In today's video, we are building a park only with Triassic dinosaurs. And when I mean only Triassic dinosaurs, I mean only Triassic dinosaurs plus the Duncalosteus plus the Dematrodon. Okay, why Duncalosteus and Dematrodon? Well, we needed more species, so we have two of them that precedes the era of the dinosaurs, the, 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 the Colossus is from the Devonian period. I really like saying that name, Devonian. It's just a, a strong name. You know, in the trailer for the prehistoric marine species, when the narrator say, Duncalosteus, a great armored fish from the late Devonian period. It's, I, I just like this name so much. What was I talking about? Duncalosteus, okay. So, Duncalosteus and Dematrodon precedes the era of the dinosaurs. Duncalosteus is from the Devonian period, and Dematrodon is from the Permian period. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the Permian period comes before the Triassic, right? Yeah, it does. It comes before the Triassic. And I like the Duncalostis and the Dematrodon, so why not just include them? Okay, now for the overall layout of the park. A quick disclaimer, I don't like terraforming in Jurassic World Evolution 2. I don't like the, the, the mechanic, the tools uh, for terraforming, for creating mountains and cliffs and lakes and whatever the hell. I don't have the patience for that kind of stuff, so most of my parks are just flat. Not because I'm not creative, it's because I'm lazy, and I don't have the patience for that. But I'm trying to be better. So the overall layout of the park is actually based on what planet Earth looked like back in the Triassic period. I took inspiration from a map, I believe... Uh, a map that showed Earth 220 million years ago, if I'm not mistaken. There's basically a two big continents surrounded by some island peninsulas, but I didn't add the islands. No, island peninsulas, that doesn't make sense. Archipelagos, sorry. Uh, surrounded by a couple of archipelagos. I didn't add the surrounding islands because I wouldn't use them, so it didn't make any sense to waste my time and my patience for that. So we have two continents in this park. One of the continents is only the hotels. The hotels, there is a small beach, 
and also the Dunkalostius Lagoon is on that part, on that continent. I had this idea that the Dunkalostius being um, the Dunkalostius and the Dimatrodon being special inclusions to the park since they are not part of the Triassic. They are kind of like VIP dinosaurs. So the Dunkalostius is in the hotel section, so only those who are staying in the hotels can go visit the Dunkalostius Lagoon. And for the Dimetrodon, the Dimetrodon is housed in the amphitheater that... It, it doesn't say Jurassic Park San Diego in that amphitheater, it says Triassic Park, okay? Let's just be a little... Let's play pretend. So the two non-Triassic species are VIP species. So only VIP guests can go see the Dimetrodon, and only those who are staying at the park at the hotels can go visit the Dunkalostius. As for the other species, that tiny lagoon you saw me placing earlier in the video, surrounded by trees, that's the Nothosaurus lagoon. I had this idea that the Nothosaurus is the first animal you see when you walk out of the entrance of the park. So you walk out of the helipad, there is this path that leads directly to the Nothosaurus lagoon. You walk around it and then you have the main section of the park with the Dematrodon Amphitheater and the shops and restaurants and all the other stuff. There is also a large lagoon that will be used to house the Ichthyosaur and the Shonisaurus. Since they're both similar, I didn't bother creating two lagoons for them. And mostly because, you know, I have this idea in my mind that the Ichthyosaur looks like a Shonisaur baby. I don't know why. Let's just pretend. Whatever. As for the Herrerasaurus and the Coelophysis, I'm building right now the Herrerasaurus enclosure, and the Coelophysis enclosure is just not that interesting. At some point, I was just getting lazy, and my creative process was dull. So yeah, but I had a lot of fun building this park, so I have this idea of building also a truly Jurassic park with only Jurassic dinosaurs and also a Cretaceous park with only Cretaceous dinosaurs. I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I'll need to do two Jurassic parks and two Cretaceous parks. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. But I really, really enjoyed making this park, aside from all of the terraforming, creating the layouts, the design of the continents. In order to do that, to draw the silhouette of the continent, I used the path, the narrow paths to design it, and then used the water to around it, and just, just created a gigantic ocean around the continents. That was a lot. So, um, I don't know what else to say. So, you guys stick around until the end of the video if you want to see the end result of the park. And don't you forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your Jurassic-loving fans. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and enjoy the video.